following video is a presentation of Simulation Solutions Combined Cycle Power Plan. In this demonstration, I will go through both the DCS pages of the simulator, as well as a virtual reality outside operator created in partnership with Explain Media. This is a 20 megawatt combined cycle power plant, which burns natural gas to create electricity. First, natural gas is burned to power a gas turbine, which is hooked up to a generator. The gas turbine is the major producer of electricity and creates 17 megawatts. The exhaust from this gas turbine is directed to a heat recovery steam generator which creates steam to be sent to a second turbine. The smaller turbine, the steam turbine, creates 3 megawatts of electricity. As we now enter the fuel system, we will see the natural gas pipeline towards the top and down to the right. This plan is also able to be run on heavy and light fuel oils, which are stored in the two tanks in the rear of this area. Pumps for both oils can be operated via the following switches. If we went further into the fuel system, we would see that all control valves are operable and all indicators can be read. These instruments communicate with the DCS and update in real time. As we continue to the left and approach the stairs, we will now climb the stairs to go to the top of the steam boiler. The waste energy from the gas turbine is used to heat boiler feed water, which creates the steam. Steam can then be redirected to four different areas. A steam header, the gas turbine, a vent, and the steam turbine. Now, we will head to the gas turbine and get a view of the compressor turbine system. Here, the vibrations can be monitored. In addition, the igniter statuses can be monitored. Now, we will go inside the turbine and get a different view, as we will see the gas turbine as well as a condensate system. Lastly, we will view the steam turbine section. As we approach the steam turbine section, we will be able to see the makeup water tank for the boiler feed water system. This is located in blue in front. As we head to the right and inside, we will see the, we will see the steam line coming from the steam boiler in the upper left corner. As we head to the right, we will see the condenser water system below the turbine. Along with the virtual reality outside operator, we will now preview the DCS screens. On the overview, once again we can see the entire system, which primarily consists of the fuel system, two turbines, a boiler, and cooling water systems. On the gas turbine and fuel screen, we will see the three fuel types available to power the gas turbine. These, in these include heavy fuel oil, light fuel oil, and natural gas. The trainee will go through exercises switching from natural gas to these different types of oils while running the plant. The next page shows the control scheme in more detail for this gas turbine. Trainees will start the gas turbine on speed control, which is cascaded to the flow of natural gas. Once the unit has reached a design speed of 3600 revolutions per minute, the trainee will sync the turbine to the grid and now control the system via power control. In the heat recovery steam generator DCS page, we can see the exhaust coming from the gas turbine powering this boiler. There is a damper on the boiler which has built-in logic to protect the equipment in the system. If the steam drum level gets too low or any of the turbines trip, all the energy will be diverted to the stack rather than the boiler. The next page outlines the makeup tank and condenser water systems for the steam boiler and steam turbine. The following two DCS pages go through the logic and interlocks for the gas turbine and steam boiler. This will allow the student to purge the system or be aware of why he or she tripped the system. Finally, a dynamic profitability analysis page allows trainees to calculate how efficient their startup or operations have been with the major cost being natural gas and the major credit being electricity generated. 
If you would like any more information on the Basic Combined Cycle Power Plan or any Simulation Solutions modules, please contact the office or go online to www.simulationsolutions.com.